okay so let's begin with the session now okay so recording is going on so let's begin with the session now so first of all this particular batch is for the rpa ui path before anything like i would like to introduce myself i am santosh working as a senior rpa specialist and it's overall it's more than 15 plus of year of experience and uh, especially in this ui path rpa it's around 6 year of experience i have and at present i am working with the company and it's around uh, like uh, as senior rpa specialist my role and responsibility is basically just to work with the rpa multiple projects over there and it's uh, like my company normally they are using this uh, ui path and power automate desktops and all i am getting some time i am also taking all these session and i am taking all these session from last uh, for 5 years the online session i am taking all these session multiple batches is going on for this ui path and all maximum of the time my maximum batches are weekend batch it's a saturday and sunday but this is the new batch that i started with because uh, some of the candidates from the us and canada especially uh, like they are looking for this particular time so i have this particular time is there with me so i am just going to start with this particular session so first of all like people are asking me the question like santos uh, why i should join your session this is the first question like lot of people are asking me the question lot of people are asking the questions about like uh, how your session is different from so many materials nowadays like uh, material wise so many things are available on the net if you will go through with the youtube or uh, it's a google like or udemy and all lot of materials are available on the nets and all so first of all the people are asking me the question how this session is going to be beneficial for them try to understand what i am talking about like i'm working with a company i know exactly what people are looking for so many times like uh, people joining the companies but they don't have the practical exposure and that's creating the problem so basically what we are getting in the market and what exactly the company is required both is the different things what exactly the company's expectation from you and what normally people are getting through the different trainings and all so there is the gap like companies they are looking for practical exposure once you are going to join any organizations with any particular subject it's not i am talking about only the rpa ui path so company's expectation is different our focus area will be different but in the part of the training like we are going to focus so many things and all so basically there is a gap what exactly the company is looking for and normally the people having in the market like uh, in the market having the skill set there is the gap this particular session that we are going to start with is entirely going to be the practical based session after this entire session see right now i am not familiar with your background like uh, what types of background you have but most probably i am telling you after this entire session if you are going to put like some experience and all that we will discuss separately like how you can manage your experience like your previous experience and all we will discuss about that but after doing all this entire session if you are going to put in your resume like you have the 3 plus experience year of experience or 2 plus year of experience in the ui path believe me you can justify all these things why i am saying like this i am going to discuss about that so here what we are talking about we are talking about all the practical implementation whenever the theoretical part is required definitely we are going to learn about that 
but here we are talking about the practical exposure what are the kind of things like that we need to do in the company see topic wise suppose i am talking about the rpi ui path the entire course content is going to be i am going to divide the entire course content in three parts number one is the core portion of the ui path number two is the advanced portions of the ui path and number three other portion i am talking about see topic wise i am also going to cover the same thing i am also going to cover the excel automation i am also going to cover the pdf automation i am also going to cover the word automation but the most important thing in the excel automation or in any particular topic lot of things are there lot of use cases are there that we need to work on that we need to work on it's not like that i am going to give you the initial demo like okay this is how we are going to read the excel and this is how we are going to write in excel it's not going to do anything for you like it's not going to be magical every time with every individual topic we are going to do the real thing that people are looking in the company the kind of the task the kind of the work that normally we need to do in the company everything we are going to cover in the entire session all the use cases all the practical scenarios that we are going to do along with the detailed knowledge of the activities all the process all the categories of the automation that we are going to learn with this so this is how this session is going to be different number 1 number 2 it's a live session it's a live session it's not like the recording kind of stuff a recording is okay after the session you people are going to get the recording suppose you are going to miss the particular session in that case the recording is going to be helpful suppose you need to revise the topic in that case your recording is going to be helpful but more or less this is the entire live session we are going to do everything practically what are the things exactly required in the company we are going to do that the different types of complex use cases that normally people need to do in the company we are going to cover each and everything so this is why you people should attend this session now the duration for the entire course is going to take 2 months the duration for the entire course is going to take 2 months so many time like see every technology deserves some respect and technology is the kind of thing that need to digest i am telling you so many times it's happened like uh, i need to take the corporate batches also normally the corporate batches is on saturday and sunday some of the time i need to take the corporate batches also and within two days we need to complete the entire rpa ui path and all and we are going to do that this is our job and uh, we are going to do that so that's not a problem but believe me people are not going to get anything the reason is the reason is in two days see number of times you are going to open the software or even if you are going to close the software still you are going to learn the few things over there so the technology is the kind of thing that need to digest it's not like one day or two days so every technology deserves some time i am going to give you some task you are going to complete the task you you have some questions you have some queries so many topics we need to cover so the duration for the entire course is going to be 2 months and this particular batch that we are like starting with is going to be the weekdays batch and how we are going to organize the session we are going to organize the session 4 days in a week 4 days in a week so now people are asking me a question like why is 4 days in a week try to understand it's not easy for anyone if i am going to keep the session for 6 days or 7 days or 5 days it's going to be a tough task for you to manage the things because nowadays everyone is busy you are like you need to get some time to do the practice you need to get some time to do the assignment some kind of project work you need to do and that's why this session is going to be the 4 days in a week and it's a 1 hour session the days that we will decide the days that we will decide but most probably 3 days monday to friday 3 day session will be there and normally it's on saturday and sunday we have one session either it can be on saturday or it can be on sunday so we are going to organize this session in such a way that it's not going to create any pressure on you and easily you can do the things because see lot of time people are saying like no no santosh i need to complete this in one month 
I can make it complete in two days. I don't have the problem. Because I don't need to do anything. I don't need to open the Google. I don't need to open any PPT and all. Because we are already working on this. A lot of batches is going on. I'm taking all this session. Everything is clear over there. So I don't need to do any research and development. But it's not going to be beneficial for you. So it's going to be four day session. And every session is going for one hour. Our session will be Monday to Friday. We have three sessions. And either on Saturday and Sunday, we have one session. Either it can be on Saturday or it can be on Sunday. That we will decide. Regarding the course content I am talking about, I am going to divide my entire UI path. Before this UI path, first of all, why we should learn this RPA? This is the important question that people are normally asking me. Why RPA? What is the future of this RPA? Like so many times, like we are listening this, like uh, and uh, it's a it's a fact, it's a reality. Like people are saying, like Santos, right now in the market, uh, it's a toughest job, like to get the job and everything. Some kind of recession and all, so many things we are getting. Now the question is, why we are going to do this RPA? First of all, we need to understand the few important things over there. Number one. RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. This is about the automation. We are going to automate the process. That we will discuss. First of all, this is the new field. Remember. Number two, it's not the new field. But still, even might be your friend is in R like in the software. And if you are going to ask them, like I am working with the RPA. So many times it's happened with us, like uh, we are going to ask them like okay i'm working with the rpa i need to describe them like okay rpa means our robotic process automation i need to describe them then they are going to understand what exactly is that so it's a new field number one number two rpa is the integral part of the data science and ai rpa the integral part of the data science and ai when we are talking about the data science when i am talking about the ai data science the first task is you need to collect the data who is going to collect the data for you it's a rpa rpa is the integral part of that data science we need to visualize the data who is going to automate the process again the rpa so the second thing rpa is the part of integral part of the data science and ai okay and data science and, and ai and rpa right now if you are going to search on this Google trend, if you are going to search all these things in the Google trend, so RPA is growing like anything. I am telling you, I am telling, see, everything is should be like, uh, I'm, I'm, I can give you all the examples and all. Like, these are the different batches that I am taking for the UI path. These are the different batches that I am taking for the UI path. Some of the batches started, like some of the batches are running. These are the different batches that I'm taking. R stands for running batches. I'm telling you, like see, old running batches just completed two months back, three months back like that. These are the batches, it's already completed one year back, two year back like that. So what I'm trying to say, I don't want to see all the list and everything. What I'm trying to say, it's in demand. People are getting the response. People are getting the good response. They are getting the jobs. And it's in demand. And that's why the things is going on. That's why the things is going on. I'm, see, I'm also involved with some other part of the trainings and all. But I, like market scenario always, everything is going according to the scenario. Everything is based on the market. So right now this RPA UI path is growing like anything. As per the Google trend, this RPA UI path is the hot cake in the market. So this is the new destinations for the jobs and all. The third thing, people are asking me the question, like Santos, I'm not from the coding background. You don't need to be the coding background. Coding part is not required over there. No, I'm not saying this. If you are going to check in the Google, if you are going to check all these things in the Google, 
they are going to tell you no no in ui path you don't need to write the code but no you need to write the coding coding is required you don't have the coding background you don't need to worry about we are going to do everything from the scratch but remember one important thing you don't need to write lines of the code as a developer as a developer normally developer need to write lines of the code thousands of lines of the code millions of the lines of the code the developer need to write you people don't need to write the lines of the code but what you need to do you need to write one line of code you need to write one line of the code you need to write two lines of the code that you need to do that you need to do and that we are going to learn from the basics so if you are not from the coding background you don't need to worry about we are going to learn the coding portions from the basics like the required portion that's required in the rpa that's required in the ui path people so many time people are saying santosh uh, can i do this ui path it's going to be tough remember nothing is easy in this world this is the first line if you are going to explore the notepad na if you are going to explore the notepad believe me so many things are there even in the notepad like might we we are not familiar with that so we cannot say it's a easy nothing is going to be easy because we need to get the job we need to get the job we need to work with the automation so nothing is going to be easy but if you are going to ask me it's going to be simple or can we work with this ui path my answer is if you can work with the ms office if you can operate the machine you can work with the rpa with the ui path so if you you can work with like if you can work with the ms office you can create the documents you can work with the excel you can work with the powerpoint you can operate the machine you can work with this rpa ui path it's relatively it's going to be simple in compared to any other programming languages like if you are going to work with a java if you are going to work with the dot net if you are going to work with a python in compared to that this ui path is going to be easy it's basically drag and drop here we have the tools that we need to use it's basically the drag and drop feature will be there we don't need to write lines of the code we just need to write one lines of the code two lines of the code so it's going to be easy in compared to other platform regarding the job opportunities regarding the job opportunities and current market scenario and the future prospect i am talking about see rpa this rpa it's all about the automation we are going to automate the process now the development phase get completed you can consider that people are not going for the development development means what you are going to develop the website <laughs> so many websites are there every company every organization having some kind of website mobile apps or you are going to develop some windows application now people are not looking for that what exactly the people are looking for people are looking for the automation they want to automate the process they want to speed up the process RPA is basically going to give the two benefit to the company. Number one, it's going to reduce the manpower. It's going to reduce the manpower. Suppose the fifty employee, they are working regularly on the particular project, or they are working as MIS executive. They have the repetitive kind of job. my rpa is going to complete that particular job or it's going to replace the 10 employee 20 employee 30 employee jobs and it can perform the task in 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour 4 hours that's why the rpa is going like anything nowadays every company what exactly they are looking for <coughs> sorry every company having the two agenda number one they want to increase their revenue they want to increase the profit they want to reduce the cost number one at the same time every company nowadays looking for the quality they need to give the quality service to the customer so the two task is there for the company they want to reduce the cost and they want to improve the quality what is the solution only the single solution is the rpa 
and that's why nowadays it's not only the software company it's not only the software company the textile house the export import the call centers the banks nowadays it's really a tough task for you to connect with the customer care executive every time there is a port and they are going to give you the response so you need to select the questions from there so nowadays basically everything is going to move towards the automation so definitely having the future definitely having the future and see why i am saying i am not saying all these things theoretical and as per the paper because people are getting the response we are in the market we understand all these things every time company having the requirement so many times like we are getting the requirement from the different companies i am telling you it's more than 50000 of students it's more than 50000 of students already they are working in the different companies worldwide from my side they are working in the different companies and all every time i am getting some reference every time i am getting the feedback and every time like people are saying sir uh, like we have the requirement for the ui path developer can you send some resumes and all so every time we are getting all these things on the basis of this i am telling you the practical scenarios and that's why this is a good choice for you to start with this rp ui path now remember in this rpa in this rpa you don't need to be the technical even if you are not from i am telling you i am taking the batch maximum of the students 40% of the students they are coming from the software background 60% of the students they are coming from non software background and they are working with this rpa and the ui path and they are getting the response they are getting the jobs and everything definitely if you are going to ask me santosh is there any job for the fresher believe me with any particular technology even if you are talking about the excel and you are the fresher definitely you are not going to get the job even if you are working with the excel excel like so many things are there in the excel that i am talking about as a fresher no one is going to entertain you as a fresher it's really a tough task to get the job in the market what you need to do you need to you just need to justify like you need to put some kind of experience and all either it's going to be the internship and all so even if you are fresher even if you are coming from the soft like experience background and all and i am going to tell you what you people need to do what are the things you need to write in the resumes and all everything that we are going to discuss about so it's going to be like you, and you can the good thing is like you don't need to be the too technical sir if you can operate the machine if you can operate the ms office you can work with rpa well so this is how the things is going to be and i am going to tell you everything regarding the jobs regarding the people are saying like santosh <coughs> sorry suppose i completed this ui path now and after 6 month i am getting the problem then boss uh, i am telling you one important thing i am taking all this session i have some time saturday sunday i am completely free in the weekdays we also having time some time and all basically we need to work in the as per the est time so i am also kind of like so many things are there that i also need to implement i also need to do always i am telling my candidates to one important thing it's a kind of lic if you have any problem either you are going to face the problem in the companies during the work or you required any technical assistance from my side you just need to text me in the whatsapp you just need to text me and the kind of support that you required you are going to get suppose you completed the ui path and still you are facing the problem you can join the another batch without any cost you can join the another batch without any cost you don't need to do like you don't need to do anything extra for that if you have any problem with the particular topic either you are going to connect with me personally or you can again join some another batch every time you people are going to get the kind of assistance i don't have any marketing agency i am not uh, like from any training institutes 
I'm not doing any kind of marketing and anything. And I'm telling you, I'm taking all these sessions, the live session from last four or five years. And it's not four or five years. Earlier, the live session pattern was not there. In that case, like uh, the, still the training was there for me and it was involved with the corporate batches and like that's why I'm telling you like I'm involved with all these options like from last 10 years around and that's why I'm telling you so many candidates and people are there in the markets and accordingly we are getting the feedback and response and all. So all these kind of support that you people are looking for you are going to get definitely if you are going to ask me Santos you need to develop the project that I'm getting in the job no I cannot do that. I cannot develop the project in place of you for your companies. I cannot do that because also I have the commitment. I am not going to make any false commitment with you. No, no, I will develop the project for you. You don't need to do anything. It's not like that. I am going to give you the help. What kind of assistance you required, I am going to give you. But you also need to take care like uh, if you have some problem, you are going to discuss with me. I am going to give you some suggestion, might be I am going to give you some recording, might be I am going to send you some notes, might be uh, we are going to connect shortly like we are going to connect. All these things I am talking about, the kind of support that I am going to give you. But definitely it is going to be the lifetime and it is not like one day or two days or four days, it is not like that. It is all about the personal commitment and I am telling you this entire RPA, especially I am involved with this RPA and, I, and these kind of things is going on like this. So you don't need to worry about all these things. This is why RPA, I can consider like I, uh, like, uh, I provide you all the questions like why we should do the RPA, what are the job prospect, coding background, everything. I just clear over that, trying to do that. Now I'm talking about the course content. That is the most important thing. What are the things we are going to cover in this? Remember, in this RPA, what we are going to start with, we are going to start with the UI path. In RPA is basically for the automation. And to implement the automation, we have the multiple softwares. We have the UI path is there, we have the power automate desktop is there, we have the blue prism is there, we have the automation anywhere is there, we have the Pega, so many softwares are there. Why we are going to learn the UI path? Because this is the highly demand in the market. And this is the most demanding things regarding the RPA. Every company nowadays they are looking for this UI path and that's why we are going to start with this UI path. The entire course content, first of all we are going to learn about the core portion of the UI path. In the core portion of the UI path definitely we are going to learn about what is this RPA, what is this RPA life cycle, what are the different tools over there how to install the software, everything we are going to discuss. How we are going to install the software and then we are going to start with the software and then we are going to learn about all the basics over there. We are going to learn all the basics over there. After the basics, we are going to learn about all the automation like Excel automation, like the PDF automation, like the Word automation, like the mail automation. All these things we are going to learn over there. We are going to cover everything. You don't need to worry about. I am telling you, once you are going to complete with this RPA UI path, na, I have the level 2 and level 3 is also there. Suppose you have the experience of 5 years, still I have the topic for you, so you can explore the things in that way. Because you can explore the things in that way. So we are going to learn about all the basics. We are going to learn about the Excel automation, how to automate the Excel, how we are going to apply the formula with the Excel, how we are going to apply the filter, how we are going to apply the conditional formatting, how we are going to apply the pivot, how we are going to apply the lookup, everything that normally we need to do in the Excel, we are going to automate the entire process. Lot of huge cases and believe me, normally people are going to link with me and they are asking so many questions related with the advanced portions only. Santos, are you going to cover this or are you going to cover that? 40% of the time you need to work with the Excel automation. In every project, the Excel automation part is involved. In every project, the Mac, because 
Excel is a kind of thing like maximum of the time as a data source people are using the Excel. So we need to manipulate the Excel as well as the PDF. So many times we need to work uh, uh, like we need to work with the MS Word automation. And definitely always we need to work with the mail automation. I need to send the mail. I need to read the mail. I need to download the attachment. I need to send the attachment. Multiple attachment we need to send. In the mail body we need to put some Excel kind of text over there. So we are going to learn all these things over there. And after that we are going to do one small project over there. And this is the kind of project it's going to be based on all this. So many things are there boss. Here I am writing basics. It's going to take two to three sessions. I am talking about the Excel. It's going to take around three to four sessions. I am talking about the PDF. It's going to take around two sessions. I am talking about the Word. It's going to take around one session. I am talking about the mail automation. It's going to take around two sessions. Two to three sessions. So every like every individual is the top like the kind of topics we have and on the basis of this we are going to develop one project we are going to develop one project after this what we are going to learn about we are going to learn about the advanced portions of the ui path under the advanced portions of the ui path we are our focus will be on re framework this is the most important thing that every time you need to work on you are going to develop every project by the use of RE framework. It's a kind of framework. It's a kind of project template we have. Using this particular framework, normally we need to do the work in the company for a project based on the RE framework. So we are going to discuss everything about the RE framework. We are going to discuss about the estate machine. We are going to discuss about the queue. We are going to discuss about before this RE framework, this is the most complicated topic you can consider. Why I'm telling you you can consider because maximum of the time I'm getting the text or messages or the calls regarding the RE framework from my candidates. Even from the outside of the like people are giving me the call regarding the RE framework. Because RE framework is basically the bundle of topics that we need to cover before we are going to start with the RE framework. We need to work with the state machine. We need to work with the variables and argument. We need to work with error handling. We need to work with the debugging, the logging mechanism. We need to work with the config file, collections, dictionary. And then only we can start with the RE framework. So we are going to cover everything. When I am writing RE framework, it's going to cover everything, whatever the things are required over there. After this RE framework, we are going to work with the orchestrator. Orchestrator is basically the, you can say, like it's a kind of administration kind of thing is there. Remember in RPA in the UI path, we are going to develop the application. That application is known as boat. Here we are going to develop the boat. In RPA, we are not going to develop any website. In RPA, we are not going to develop any Windows application. In RPA, we are not going to develop any mobile apps. RPA, it's all about the boat development. Here we are going to develop the boat. Okay. Now what we need to do? Once you are going to develop the boat, suppose I'm going to develop some boat and that boat has to run we have the two option it can be attended it can be attended boat or it can be unattended boat attended boat means what user interaction is required you need to give some input you need to give some input so attended means you are going to attend that boat and then only the boat is going to run so normally if i need to give the user input in that case our boat is going to be attended some of the time we don't need to give any input, boat need to run and they need to do the process. In that case, we are going to develop the unattended boat. So how we are going to confirm, how we are going to configure the attended boat, how we are going to configure the unattended boat, all these are the part of the orchestrator. So we are going to discuss everything regarding the orchestrator. This is the kind of the topic maximum of the time especially these two topic 70 percent of the time in every interviews you are going to get the maximum questions from this only and we are going to discuss each and everything over there because practically we are handling all these things in my company 
like I am working as senior RPA specialist. So we need to manage all these things. We need to manage the licensing and everything. So we are going to discuss everything about that. You don't need to worry about. So we are going to discuss about the RE framework. We are going to discuss about the orchestrator. And after that, again, we are going to develop the work with one project. In the entire course, my agenda will be you are going to complete at least two projects with me. And project means I am talking about, I am going to develop the project. You just need to watch the things. And finally, you need to do the same thing with your machine. So during the entire session, at least your two project is going to be ready. This particular project we are going to develop without using RE framework. And this particular project we are going to work with the RE framework. So we are going to develop, discuss about the RE framework, this orchestrator. We are going to discuss about the JSON file, how we are going to work with the API, how we are going to work with the XML, how we are going to work with the UI path forms. Everything we are going to discuss over there. Now, it's enough for you to crack the interviews to get the job. But it's only going to cover the 70% of the entire things. When you are going for the job in the RPA, the UI path, other than this RPA, the UI path, people are expecting something extra from you. What they are expecting? They are expecting like you should have some knowledge with the C sharp. You should have some knowledge with the BB.NET. You should have some knowledge with the Python. Why I am saying this? Suppose in the PDF, I need to write something. Suppose we have the credit card statement. In the credit card statement, I just need to put the due date. I am dispatching the credit card statement to my customer. Before sending the credit card statement, I need to put the due date on this particular date. In that case, what I need to do? We have the PDF. In that PDF, we need to write something over there. We are going to skip in the Python for that. So what I am trying to say, people are not expecting only the UI path. They are expecting like you should have some basic knowledge of these things. Basic means basics. You don't need to be the developer. You don't need to be the full-time developer. What the company is going to expect from you, you have some basic knowledge of these things. Can you, can you create some functions? Can you create some method? Can you integrate the method with the UI path? Can we do same thing in the C sharp or BB.NET? Because the entire UI path is written in BB.NET. It's written in .NET. In the .NET, normally, so many things are there. In the UI path, we have the two options. Either we can work in the C sharp or we can work in the BB.NET. So what are the tasks normally we need to perform? In the background, the BB.NET is there. So because we need to do something extra in the UI path, we need to get the job also and we need to do some task extra over there. So that's why the basic requirement is there and we are going to cover that. In the entire course, we are going to cover that. We are also going to cover this SQL server. Remember, I'm not going to say like, I'm not saying like you are going to be the master of the Python. You are going to be the master of the baby dot. No, it's not possible in two months only. But I'm going to give you all the basic knowledge that is required in the UI path. I'm going to give you all the basic knowledge that required in the UI path. SQL server, because so many times in the database, we need to use the SQL server to store the data. And we need to integrate the SQL server with UI path. So we are going to do something extra over there. And we are going to integrate the UI path with this, all these things. So that we are also going to cover. So now it's going to be the entire profile. I'm not talking about like uh, only the UI path. It's not going to be helpful. You are not going to get the job. You also need to mention the C sharp, the BB.NET in your resume. You also need to maintain, mention the Python. And they are going to ask you some basic questions to you. And what are the basic questions they can ask you that already we are going to cover this in the entire session. So you don't need to worry about. And you don't need to worry about, no, no, I don't have the programming background, so I cannot do that. No, I'm going to start it from the scratch. I'm going to start it from the beginning. So you don't need to worry about what you people need to do. You just need to attend the session, go through with the recording. You are going to get the enough time to do the practice. 
and that's why my entire session is only four days so three days you people having the extra time and see i'm a kind of person like i'm not going to give you over i'm make you overburden like a lot of topics i'm going to cover it's not like that i'm only going to cover the topic that you people can digest it's not going to be the kind of bouncer it's going to be the good length anytime like if you have some problem i'm going to stop the things for that i'm not going to move if you are your previous topic is not cleared and all so this is how we are going to take the session it's not like that i am going to make it rush like i need to complete the batch remember this entire thing is my personal initiative i am taking all this session because people are lacking the practical things in the market lot of candidates are there lot of institutions are there they are providing the training but what they are providing they are providing only the abc of that but company is expecting from you it's xyz the entire course is in design in such a way that you are going to get the exposure of everything what company is looking for suppose you are going to uh, work with my company i am expecting from you i am going to give you one process and that you need to develop that's it up to this option or up to this option that's why the project development is there i am going to demonstrate the everything with you and that project you are going to work with your machine it's going to complete for you in the interview you need to explain the project in the company the same thing you need to replicate once you are going to get the steps like okay at first in project development we need to do this we need to do that and after that we need to do this then any project you can develop then it's all about the automation so we are going to work everything here I, like wave automation so many time like don't consider like oh it's a line i'm just giving you the brief like what are the things we are going to cover everything we are going to cover you don't need to worry about we are going to cover the modern modern activities as well as the classic activities we are going to cover entire web portions everything we are going to cover so you don't need to worry about i am telling you na i have the course for the people having the experience of 5 year in the ui path up to that level everything is there with me because i am working with this i am taking all these sessions and all and that's why like everything is on the track i am not going to do any research with you like some oh it's not working oh it's working in the next session we will do it's not like that everything we are going to do it practically everything like you are going to get the entire road the course content the re, uh, recording and everything will be there so this is about the entire course content and all the duration and everything i just make it clear for you any questions from your side any queries from your side anything from your side now because this is the first session so it's my responsibility to make it clear for you like what are the contents and everything now it's your time if you have any questions any concern from your side please anyone having any question yeah try santosh yeah yeah please uh, have we discussing about uh, multi bot architecture like uh, dispatcher and performer you are talking about the multi bot architecture yes yeah i understand your question see here i am going to use the license the kind of the license with you i will give you the entire architecture of that i can take the individual sessions on that okay but regarding this multi bot architecture demonstration i cannot give you with the session but what we can do i can give you the entire architecture what is the requirement and everything how we are going to do that everything i am going to make it clear in the session got it yes and what about this uh, automations like uh, we have discussed about pdf excel what uh, asap like there are the different type of automations right? yeah Any see basically i am telling you all these things we are going to cover after that you can explore the things suppose someone is going to tell me like mainframe automation someone is going to tell me like the sap automation i don't have the license yeah. for the sap or the mainframe so i cannot give you the demonstration on my personal pc what my point but once you are going to be familiar with all the automations and all then everything is the activities for you you are going to apply that and just you need to explore that with the individual software 
got my point because all these things only the license is the issue i don't have any license for the mainframe or the sap and all so definitely i cannot give that exposure on this my personal pc and uh, that's why but once you are going to be familiar with the automation then further you just need to explore that and i can help you out what you what are the things you need to do and how you are going to do that that i will help you out but definitely in this entire session i am not going to give the exposure of sap or the mainframe how we are going to automate that because i don't have the license for this software yeah got it yeah. and you said about the four days what are the four days like uh, pardon yeah four days is four. going to be like four days that we can decide normally my agenda will be i am telling you like i was thinking about I was thinking about the four days is going to be like uh, it's going to be Sunday. It's going to be Sunday, plus three days in the week that we can do on like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday we can do, or we can make it like Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. That we can decide like Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So this is how we are going to take this session. It's fine. or some of the time suppose someone having the some uh, other task and also what we can do in the place of friday we can make it like thursday and all so this is what we can do but sunday definitely we have the session we will leave this monday then we have the tuesday wednesday and friday this is how we are going to do the session yes please any other questions from your side so this ui path has a couple of uh, it has their own learning management system where they have tailored out uh, various paths that uh, can you speak is... slightly loudly yeah yeah how is my voice now uh, it's how is my voice <clears throat> sorry so i was asking like uh, ui path has its own learning management system where they have tailored out couple of uh, paths Uh, that a person can take who is interested in making yeah, a career in definitely definitely every software how having is, that path so how different is the con is will be your content uh, in compa- I'm comparison i am going to give i am going to give you the practical exposure the real use cases that people need to do i am not going so to give you only the activities kind of knowledge they, they have their own track for ui path business analysts ui path developers ui path testers so this particular uh, path it's going to be it's going to be the ui path developments and when you are talking about the ui path testing and ui path analyst and so on ultimately like you need to get familiar with the automation so it's going to be the ideal platform for the ui path developments what it mm-hmm. okay. remember this training will be in a position to clear any certification related to ui path what you are saying after completing the training will we be in a position to clear any certification related to ui path yeah yeah after the certification like uh, once the course get completed na you can you just need to go through with some extra terms and all and you can go for the certification which which certification exactly it's a, uh, like it's a advanced developer the two certifications are there it's associate and advanced so you can directly go for advanced we also help your uh, your students with placements see of un- officially i am telling you straight forward no i cannot do anything with that on officially i am telling you i am going to give you the entire see i am not going to make any false commitment i will place you i have the like uh, some kind of tie ups and all nothing called tie up it's nothing happened what i can do i'm yeah i am telling you i am telling you what i can do i am going to provide you all the interview questions and answers i am going to help you in the resume making and all it's more than 50000 students worldwide in the different company they are working with this it's not only the rpi ui path but so many things always i am getting some reference and all so when i will get the reference and all i am going to refer you and i will also guide you how you people are going to get the job what you need to do how you are going to register what are the keywords you need to put everything i am going to assist with that and definitely if i am going to get any reference at all i am going to post that reference in your group and all that you can apply for that this kind of help will be there if you are going to ask me like kind of the 
so many times now people are saying like no no we have the type so i don't have any types and all and i am telling you in this particular field it's more than 20 year i am there and i am telling you nothing called the types and all it's a it's a kind of the thing that people are mentioning so i am not going to make any false commitment that i am not going to make it complete because your placement is not going to be based on me how you are going to perform in the interviews what are the things you are going to do so everything is based it's a combined effort you also need to put the effort i am also going to put the effort and then we are going to do <laughs> got it how many demos are we allowed to attend pardon how many demos are we allowed to, to attend no no this was the demo session now everything like uh, now we have the first session tomorrow we have the first session tomorrow so we have to pay you first to yeah. uh, we the have the first session tomorrow we cannot attend the, the session the fee tomorrow. for this particular session is 7300 rupees that's the fee that you need to pay i'm not charging 15000 20000 kind of thing that people are charging i'm just charging this amount and this amount i am charging from last 4 5 years this amount that i am charging from last 4 5 years so many time i tried to increase the amount but people are saying no no santosh so, so this is the amount that we need to pay tomorrow we have the first session and definitely we are going to do the session at the same time we are going to start with the this rpa the rpa life cycle and everything so tomorrow we have the first session that we are going to start with okay okay so any questions from your side any queries from your side so we can wind up this session now in case uh, of Santosh, you uh, have any individual question you can individually connect with me no problem yes please yeah rabbi Uh, so, so you said like you know this topic gonna cover only the basic part, and you said L one, L two something. So what are those topics? So that what is the difference with this one and that thing? The advance you said. You said apart from this, there is uh, some other advanced classes. L uh, advance one, two, three something you said. Yeah. What, what you gonna what what we are missing in the basic in the current are, one and see, what we yeah, are yeah. cover in I the other one. Question. You are not missing anything. Uh. You are not missing anything. Like more or less for the like uh, for one year two year of experience, you are not missing anything. But suppose you have the experience of three year or you have the experience of four year or five year. In that case, I am telling you. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll talk to you personally. Uh, I want to check, like you know, what are those topics and what is the difference. I don't want to disturb right now. No, no. I am just going to show you the content. So you will get. I will share that. So many things are there. Like, see, at a time we cannot do everything. The the few things that suppose I am talking about the CI/CD implementation. Suppose I am talking about the UI path automation ops. Suppose I am talking about the solution management. Suppose I am talking about the versioning control. Suppose I am talking about the UI path apps. I am talking about the UI path forms. Forms, even though I am going to cover over here, so many topics are there, and uh, gradually, like uh, every time, we are getting some new things and all. So that part is also there. That's a separate course. That's a different scenario. Like normally, if you are going to start with the UI path and all, these are the things that normally you need to focus on. But if you have the experience of three year, four year, and then you are going to <coughs> crack the interviews. We need to go to the company. Okay.
I can see your that bit. Yesterday, I shared one line over there, like people was asking me, like uh, the batch is going to be start from tomorrow. The fee is going to be like 7,300. And it was there, like it was mentioned, it was uh, posted by my team, like uh, there is some special kind of discounts and all. So today you are going to take the registrations and in that case you just need to pay 6,000 higher up. So you are going to get around uh, this much of, uh, I am not telling you 20% or 30% or 40%. This much of discount is there with you. If you are going to get the register today, so tomorrow we are going to start with this particular batch. In case of any problem, any question from your side, individually you can connect with me. You can connect with me on the phone. We can discuss about that. And tomorrow we have the session from 8 a.m. IST. It's fine. It's okay, Jeevan, Ravi, Mayank. Uh, yes, from my answer. Uh, okay, thank you, everyone. If you have any individual question, you can connect with me. Uh, Santosh, is there any time change like uh, in afternoon session or else the evening session? Pardon? Only particular on Sundays. Pardon? Uh, is there any time change like uh, in we the afternoon or that. else? We can, we can discuss and we can manage that. So no need to worry about it. Yeah. Because my batch size is not going to be big like 20 or 10. It's only going to be 4, 5, 5 6 and that's not more than that. So you don't need to worry mm. about any time we can make that adjustment and that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Thank okay, you. Sir. In case of any questions, you can connect with me in the WhatsApp and all. I am the admin in that group, so you can text me. A lot of messages are there on the same number, so you can connect with me. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you, everyone. Thanks for joining.